Hello and welcome to Zero Cool Gaming and today's TV show review. Today we're going to be reviewing a TV show that came out in 1983 and it was called V. It was a very interesting science fiction show. Um, they covered a lot of different subjects in this show. Um, and the, the TV miniseries was really good, and then it spawned a, a, a TV show afterwards. And while though the production value went down a bit, it, it wasn't too bad either. I mean, it was all right. But what was V about? Well, V was basically, on a very simplistic level, about aliens coming to Earth. Um claiming that they were here to, you know, be in peace and trade with us, uh, things of that effect. While at the same time, what they were actually doing was collecting people and water for uh, their own people. Now, the show does give a couple of reasons for that, um, which kind of makes sense, which is, you know, they're at war with another species and their home world is starving as a result of that are kind of sort of they don't really go into it too deep the way they kind of explain it is is backwards i think but regardless there's reasons why they need to go out to other worlds you know near their own to find food um and that's kind of what this story is about now that's not what I'm going to talk about, about this story. Um, you know, I could give you my review of this story, sure, and of the show. Um, for its time, it was a really well done show. But what I found interesting about it was actually how correct or how right the show was about how people would react to something like this. And I know what you're thinking. Well, we, we've never had visitors come into our planet and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I know, I know. But let me explain the series of events to you and then uh, I will correlate that. And you'll understand where I'm getting at. So, basically these aliens show up um, and they say they're here for peace, you know, whatever. Um... And that's the message that's put out. And for a time, people just simply accept that and believe it. Um, obviously, the leaders of the world would know, would know better. And the story does kind of explain that and, you know, why the military and stuff like this aren't acting and things to that effect. Um, there are pseudo answers for some of these questions but basically the the message is put out and to begin with for the most part society just simply accepts that and then after about six months or so you start having people like scientists who start questioning um, let's call it peculiar peculiarities Pecul anyway I'm horrible with pronouncing those type of words. Um, they notice things that are a little off and they start to question them and then they start to, you know, their mind goes to work to solve these problems. So, to put an end to that, they basically say, oh, they're, they're evil, you know, scientists are evil, they're racist, they, you know, they're Zionists. Is that the right word? Um, anyway, things to this effect. They basically demonize scientists to uh, prevent, you know, what they would call dangerous misinformation. And for a while, that also works. But 
as time goes on, you're going to have more and more people, not just scientists, start to question the narrative, start to question what they're being told, because they can see the world around them and things just aren't adding up. And, uh, of course, more and more people start to question and more and more people start to get quote-unquote evidence of the problem and what the reality is. And even though they try to get that message out there, there's very few that are willing to believe it. Um, but as time goes on, more and more are. And that's kind of how the whole, you know, rebellion against the... Uh, the visitors, or however you want to put that, um, starts, and then they end it sort of, it, it's a long drawn out story, but regardless, um, now after explaining all that to you, I'm going to correlate this, we were told a narrative, Two weeks to flatten the curve. Two weeks to slow the to slow the spread. And we were faced with something that was pretty scary, but we could handle it. And we wanted to believe what we were being told. So we accepted. And after, you know, six months, people started to question that narrative and what was actually going on and why things were happening the way they were and those people were demonized and scrubbed from social media for spreading dangerous misinformation well now we hot now excuse me and now here we are two years after and what is it that these people who were ostracized by the public and demonized by our media and banned from all social media and all their their thoughts scrubbed from society what is it that that they actually did the vast majority of them well they dared to try to tell you the truth because today we know what the truth is kind of scary when you think about how dead on the writer of this story was when he was describing how society would react to things R regardless of what those things are he was dead on first you would accept it then they would demonize those who tried to speak out against it in order to maintain power and then two years later you realize that it had nothing to do with the actual incident or what was being stated or the, the message that was being put out it had to do with power and control period and they didn't care how much they had to lie to to push that and maintain the power and control that they had and we still have places in this country today that are under their strict power and control their edicts their mandates there are more and more people standing up against it and that's a good thing and it is slowly going away that's also a good thing but the reality is is that all those people who were labeled as you know whatever you know insert name there and spreading dangerous misinformation the vast majority of them were scrubbed from social media for trying to tell you the truth and because they didn't want you to know what the truth was they labeled it as dangerous misinformation and scrubbed it and banned anyone who would dare to speak of it this type of behavior has to stop people 
that is the only thing that you know hate speech and misinformation and censorship the only thing that it's ever going to truly do that it'll ever be actually good at is removing the truth so that those in power can retain their power they want you to believe the lies they put out they want you to just simply accept and obey And a lot of people do. That's the sad reality. A lot of people do. They don't question what they're told. I think that's also part of the reason why a lot of these reviewers that are paid to review this stuff, you know, in the hundreds of thousands of dollars, uh, demonize shows like this. Because it shows critical thinking and, and how to work through problems and how to come to your own conclusions regardless of what you're being told um, and it's sad that they don't make shows like this anymore they don't make shows that teach people life skills understandings and, and things to that effect so what is my review of V it's a pretty good show um, the writing's not a half bad it never goes too deep into anything but it does cover a lot of different topics and subjects it tries to teach it doesn't do the best job of it but it tries and uh, I enjoyed it you know I, I'm a little biased in that respect because I do like science fiction but um, it's definitely one of the better science fiction shows of the time well that's my rant for the day and I hope you enjoy the rest of yours